far as I understand, he uh, he have uh, frost bites in his fingers. The doctor is here, but he wants to come to Svalbard on the same boat, right? This is what I understood. Yeah, I understand. There are three options. One thing is we go pick them up and meet you at the ice edge and transfer them yeah. and that, that will require pretty good weather and you need to find a suitable piece of ice yeah. that's, that's one option the other option is we pick them up we go down to Vidfjord or Amsterdam Damaya on the, on the northwestern corner yeah. and do the transfer there and then the third option is that you do not pick them and uh, which one Mike chooses of those is it's up to him I guess yeah, it's up to him. I think the best Maybe. option is uh, to go uh, shelter in the, in the south of the Danish island. And then I would suggest that you just go up there and drop the anchor and wait there. Don't go up the ice edge. I think I will keep the people and go in the northwest corner, wait at the anchor. So I think they were talking about leaving tonight already. in the position uh, on the ice edge uh, tomorrow morning and uh, then we will try to, to find an opening and uh, head north as far as we can in the, in the ice. Uh, we are here to assist uh, Bergen Mike to get out of the ice um, and uh, we are on the Lanse which is a quite capable ship to go into the ice. To be able to do that we need to travel in the ice with the boat and uh, that can be a challenge. The biggest challenge is um, the darkness. It's dark 24 hours a day and it's hard to say if you find the right opening even if you have good ice charts. You are never sure if you are on the right opening. We have to play, you know, when, when we get up there and see the situation. It's very difficult to say now how we shall do things but we are ready for everything. challenges here is to anticipate what will happen so you look at the, a snapshot of, of the ice from the satellite image and you look at the weather forecast with predictions for tomorrow and the day after and then try to anticipate what the ice will do because currently there, there are no ice forecasts available that you can use for this uh, the ice we're going into now is ice from last year actually that's been on the polar cap for at least a year probably more and and uh, when the ice gets older, it gets harder uh, and also it's fairly thick and, and operating in those kind of conditions uh, is challenging for a vessel. We've been stuck here for several hours from the very very early morning and uh, the, the captain and the staff have uh, been trying everything and uh, trying to get loose in different ways so now it's more in uh, uh, in James Bond style <laughs> so it's like to take uh, we're taking a ice uh, drill down into the ice and then we're using the the winch to try to use the forces to get out of the ice to pull us backwards uh, out uh, right now uh, it seems like the pressure in the winch is not high enough uh, nothing is breaking apart. Uh, you know, after this, I'm not sure if we have any more good ideas. <laughs> uh, 
Now we're on uh, 82 degrees, uh, 20 minutes north. We're stuck on top of an ice floor and uh, we're having a very, very hard time getting off. The big problem is that uh, Burge and Mike is running out of food very, very shortly, probably today or at the latest tomorrow. We're still about uh, 30 kilometers from them, which means that we have to deploy Alex and uh, Bengt to go up with them, uh, to meet them on the ice with food. 